Do you like water? I'm not talking about that boring free shit that comes out of the tap. I'm talking about sexy water that tastes like you dropped a cough drop in it for just a few seconds and it comes in a sexy, sexy can. I'm told that it's called LaCroix, but I'm fancy, so I've always said LaCroix because I pronounce everything wrong. I had no idea until recently that LaCroix claims to be all natural, using all natural quote unquote essences for their flavorings, which again are like hardly there. It's like you had a real soda and it died and now you're drinking its ghost. I learned of this only because of a recent lawsuit that claims LaCroix is not all natural and further that they are using artificial ingredients that can kill all natural things, specifically cockroaches. Uh, They're talking about linalool, uh, which is in fact a naturally occurring flavoring agent uh, that is often found in mints and spices. And yes, it is used in cockroach insecticides, but just because it can kill a cockroach doesn't mean it can kill you. As a writer at Popular Science recently pointed out, we don't ban chocolate because it can kill dogs. It's perfectly safe, uh, as are the other ingredients called out in the lawsuit. Uh, Limonene, which uh, is found naturally in citrus fruits, and linalil propionate. This is this video is my nightmare in terms of pronunciations. So I'm sorry. Uh, th- that comes from ginger and lavender. Yeah, all three of the flavorings called out in the lawsuit are safe and in opposition to this lawsuit naturally occurring. Not that it matters. I mean, a chemical is a chemical, whether you can find it in nature or whether it's put together by humans in a laboratory. What matters is whether or not it's safe for humans. And according to all of the science we have, these ingredients absolutely are safe. So why the lawsuit? Easy, money. Uh, It was filed by a law firm in Chicago and is probably predicated on the fact that the FDA does in fact classify those flavorings as synthetic, even though they can be found in nature. And LaCroix is doing pretty well for themselves. Uh, Sales were over $800 million for last year alone. That means they're probably going to have the the legal forces to actually fight this, but a law firm might be trying to get an easy settlement payday out of it. Uh, hopefully, though, they will fight it and a good judge will laugh it right out of court. Because again, these things are natural and they are safe. Speaking of laughing things out of court, uh, there is one more fun aspect to all of this. LaCroix just issued a statement in response to the lawsuit. And if you think that the lawsuit is out there, the reply is absolutely nutso. Uh, In it, the CEO of National Beverage Corporation, which is the owner of LaCroix, refers to the company and their customers as a cult. Then an unnamed person is quoted as saying, I get a feeling of inner peace, a feeling that my LaCroix is made with innocent avowed on it. I love my LaCroix. It is an excellent product. Doesn't our innocent claim mean anything? The press release then goes on to clarify what they mean when they use the word essence in their marketing. Essence is our picture word that means nose sensory, aroma, tongue sense, measured taste, and mouthfeel. And then further down, Innovation should be new, but ours has the essence to refresh and captivate with fizz plus fun. Patriotism, if only we could bottle it. Yeah, I have I have no idea what that was, but I'm now super excited to see how this plays out. Please let there be cameras in the courtroom and please let the CEO and whoever wrote this completely bonkers press release take the stand. I will be using a safe, naturally essenced LaCroix to wash down all the popcorn I'm going to eat.